So here's the place I went to last night for a massage. Now, I wanted a quality massage. However, that's not what I got. You always run a risk when you're looking for a massage and you walk into a venue that's located plumb in the middle of the red light district. Now, you know, I'm my, my own worst enemy because I just walked in, walked up to the ladies on the street and said, yeah, massage, how much? And they said, $6.99. I thought, oh, that's a bit much. Uh, all right, look, I'm not going to walk around looking for one. So in I went. Now, the person that was assigned to me started off the process by, you know, come in here, what do you want? Do you want oil? Do you want this? Do you want this? So the whole upsell process started and I said nah look I just want a standard massage no frills you know don't want anything extra I just want a massage where I can relax well it wasn't long I had everything off I was laying on the bed and their hands started to go to places that I hadn't expected now I say I hadn't expected because I was not looking for anything other than a massage the next thing I know my legs are spread, and the person's wandering down there. I said, hey, hey, wait, that's not what I'm looking for here. And I'm then told I can give you a really good prostrate massage. I was, I don't want a prostrate massage. Now, I've never had a prostrate massage, and I don't want a prostrate massage. I think it's pretty uh, incredible that someone would subject themselves to something like that in the middle of the red light district in the Philippines and this person is reassuring them that you know you need this prostrate massage you know so anyway one thing led to another and I noticed the voice was quite hoarse at different times yes you know what's coming and I said to this person I said when did you become a lady? And the person said to me, I've always been a lady. You've always been a lady. You know, I'm not convinced. Now, I felt like the massage was going extremely poorly in that one, I'm being offered this extra service and the hands keep going down there and I keep saying, no, no, I don't want that, I don't want that. At one stage, I got a little aggressive and said, look, will you stop? effing around and give me the massage I've paid for and with that said okay no problem so the massage went downhill in a big way from there right um, they were just not interested then obviously, obviously uh, there was no um, extra services so the you know the, the, the rubbing the touching and uh, the pressure that I'm feeling around my different parts you know my muscles and stuff was, was just so poor I had to actually say to the person, look, stop doing that and move on. You're just rubbing in the one area and you're not doing anything. Oh, you don't like that, sir? No, I don't like that. Just will you give me a massage? So I got, you know, a little bit of a difference. But I got a bit more pressure in different areas and stuff. But, yeah, at the end, I was really disappointed. 699 pesos for what turned out to be just absolute, you know, fondling, an attempt to fondle me, um... And I just, yeah, I just felt like I was ripped off, right? During the latter parts of the massage, there was a lot of conversation around, oh, are you enjoying that, sir? Are you comfortable? And making suggestions that I was enjoying things and I was really comfortable with what they were doing. Well, I didn't say anything. I just kept it quiet because I knew what was coming at the end. And... You know, the person just kept reinforcing that, you know, uh, um, you need, you know, special treatments and, and whatever, right? In the end, the massage came to a finish and the person said to me, um, how do you feel now? Do you feel much better now? I said, I said, oh, is that the end? Yes, sir, we finished. Okay. And I just started getting dressed. I didn't say anything, right? Now, I didn't say anything because I don't want to enter in, into any conversation to try and correct this person's behaviour because this person was clearly not a massage specialist. Now, if you want a decent massage, go to a massage therapist, go to somebody off the strip that's going to give you a decent massage. If you want something else, well, you go to these people on the strip, right, and they give you what you want. So my history with being massaged by ladyboys has not been a good one. Right? I... Uh, 
I tried it once in Thailand, and the person, I think, was stronger than me. I ended up walking out of that place bruised and battered. I, you know, I developed these black bruises a few days later on my back and on my legs, where they had just pressed so hard, and they have no idea how to massage a person, right? They, and part of the problem is they think that you know, a person with my stature, I'm quite tall and I'm large, oh, he wants it hard. You know, no, I don't want it hard. I just want a genuine massage. So just, for Christ's sakes, give me a genuine massage. So anyway, at the end, I ended up walking out of that place and at the counter, you know, I said, how much? You know, 699 there, no worries. They said, oh, I paid the money. And then he looks at me, I'm going to say he because it's a he. He looks at me and says, tip, sir. And I said, no, there's no tip. No tip? I said, no, there's no tip, mate. It's the worst massage I've ever had. And she just looked at me with a weird look on its face. And I just felt like I'd been ripped off, right? I just, you know, these people have no right to be working in these shops, let alone pretend that they're women. I just hate that. So anyway, it is what it is. You live and learn. And I won't be going to massage shops on the strip anymore. Unless, of course, you know, I end up being some guy that wants his prostrate massaged, right? Which is highly unlikely. Anyway, I don't know where they get that idea that prostrate massage is, uh, is required. I guess they must be doing a bit of business in it because uh, they wouldn't be asking for it or pushing it. So if you're in there getting prostrate massage, it's <laughs> good on you. But hey, that ain't my cup of tea. Now at this stage, you're probably wondering where the hell does all this prostate massage stuff come from? Right. Well, historically, there was a belief that prostate massage was helpful for certain medical conditions. Right. Since then, that's been debunked. And in the main, there's not been any real medical proof that prostate massage is helpful. No, no kidding. What it does do, though, uh, apparently, is enhance sexual pleasure between couples, right? Now, there is a lot of complications that can occur with this, and you could imagine that, you know, doing this to somebody who has a pre-existing medical condition in any way can be pretty dangerous. Also, not to mention, the bacteria and all the complications that can occur as a consequence of doing it to someone that does not have any pre-existing medical conditions. So allowing someone in a massage shop who claims that they can give you medical benefits from allowing them to perform these things on you is absolutely ridiculous. These people have no idea. They are compromising your health and you should not ever allow them to go anywhere near you with these kind of practices. So do your own research, talk to your urologist, you'll find that uh, it's a load of bullshit, right? And uh, these people are just doing it to try and give you some sexual pleasure. Well, those people do go out there and seek out this kind of stuff for their own sexual pleasure. Well, I hope you're better informed as a consequence of this video and you don't end up with some um, compromised medical condition or uh, bacterial infection where you shouldn't have it. Um, it's really a risky practice and I, I think that uh, most people who undergo this kind of stuff uh, uh, don't really understand what they're potentially exposing themselves to. So, you know, we've got creeps in massage shops uh, you know, doing this to people and their whole purpose for this is to just make extra money for themselves. Your well-being is being compromised. So look after yourself. Anyway, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching and until next time, take care.